guys and gals, and we're here from Drake Wing Gaming. It's something you may on Twitter, the gaming drag. Today I'm coming back at you with a Let's Play episode of Roads Yet Traveled. So y'all, before we jump into it, just wanted to let y'all know that our Patreon is now up for as little as $5. Y'all can help support the channel, get some awesome rewards like permanent access to our community Discord server, and full access to upcoming Not Safe for Work videos. Anyway, y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you were up, and let's go. All right. <clears throat> Looks like I have an interesting talk with Doc coming up at some point. One of many, I'm sure. Well, that's a lot to take in. Um, can you tell me about your home still? Are we, uh, kind of a bit distracted. Oh, home. Uh, it's hot. Sandy. Hmm, there's some cities kind of close by. What? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to, Merrick. It's okay. Puh, fuck off. I was never the nostalgic type, all right? What do you want, a map? It was a small town in the middle of a big desert. I just have some scattered memories. Otherwise, it was just a desert. Well, can you explain your home? What? Can you explain your hometown better? I don't recall you doing better earlier. <laughs> well, that was different. And better than you? It might be hard, but I can try. Lots of trees, empty parking lots, huge malls with nothing to do. And that was just one of the homes I had. One of. You move around a lot? Oh, yeah. A few times. Hmm. Happens. Hmm. I think we both might be forcing this conversation a bit, trying to form some bridge between us that may, or may not, come more naturally if we just interacted less, interact and interact in less awkward ways. Fortunately for both of us, well, maybe not Merrick, I hear the sound of the door opening. In one motion, Merrick sees who it is and heads back to his bench, signaling that a specific Karain has arrived. After a significant amount of shuffling round, Ruin turns the corner, carrying a lunch tray and a faint smile. Good morning, Rius. Well, morning-ish. Heh. <laughs> Hello, Rune. How are you today? Oh, good. Thank you. I, uh, finished some scheduling. I'll be free for a day or so to help out if you or Dr. Sinnoh need me. Oh, that's great to hear. It'll be nice to have you around. I give him the most genuine smile I can muster, as he deserves it, as he deserves it more. He manages a small one back. I assume the void in the corner is sucking all the joy from this little, albeit for a Karain, body. I can tell he's fidgeting at the door, waiting to be let in, but afraid to ask. Merrick, can you lower the, um, the, uh, door? Please? I would love to know what's going on between these two. You can do it. Can't you? Well, yes, but I'm not supposed to. Rune continues fidgeting and I shoot Merrick a nasty look. He rolls his eyes and fidgets to some invisible screen and the door opens. I guess at the end of the day, he's still the same Karain. I do need to know why he acts the way he does sometimes, but now's not his time. It's Runes. He offers an indecipherable and almost silent thank you and comes into the cell, just far enough to drop off the tray. Taking his, and what I presume is also Merrick's lunch before, heading back to the other side. After carefully delivering Merrick a stair burger, or whatever it's called, he comes back to the glass and sits down in front of me. Seems he also opted for the soup today. Maybe I'm rubbing off on him. Or maybe he's just got tired of having the same thing. Probably the latter. We eat in relative silence, though, as no one strikes up a conversation. It's funny to watch Rune eat with utensils, as I've only seen them eat finger food so far. I almost half expected him to lap it up like a dog, which is probably offensive, or at least bad table manners. Might be kind of cute, though. So, Rune, what did you have to reschedule? I'm curious about what you do around here. Oh, uh, yeah. I took myself uh, I took myself off doing some of the routine checks of the bio labs. I postponed fixing s some of the lights in the maintenance halls, and I pushed back my game night with the crew. You guys have a game? You guys have a game night? That sounds like fun. Sorry you had to push it back. Oh, it's okay. We can just have it another night. Check it now. Water time. Oh yeah. Good water. Kess and Milo won't mind. They're really nice. Are they your co-workers? Yeah, they work directly below me, along with the rest of the maintenance crew. They help out a lot. Kess is my second-in-command. That sounds great. I hope I can meet them at some point. Oh, I'm sure you can. They're funny. I think you get along. Heh, <laughs> thanks. So, how big is your team, anyways? Maintenance, I mean. It's, uh... Well, I have, we have 14 members, but sometimes people from engineering come and help out, so it's c closer to 17. That's a pretty big team. And you manage it all? Yeah. That's really impressive, Rune. Is it? Thanks. Yeah, totally. 
My team has 26 guards. Rune pays his comment no heed, or does a good job pretending he didn't hear it. I, on the other hand, shoot Merrick the meanest side eye I can. I think he gets the message. He's really at Rune's throat. I've got to find a way to get him to lighten up, especially if I'm going to be around both of them. So, what do you do on, like, say, an average day? Just walk around and look for something to fix? <laughs> no! Usually I get a message about something being broken, and then if it is a priority, I either go right away or schedule it in, in first. Otherwise, I see what has been scheduled and go fix that. Sometimes it's about assigning other repair jobs to other members of the team, and managing s schedules. This is not super interesting. I prefer f fixing part of the job myself, but leading the team is okay too. Most of them are really nice, so it's not hard to manage. They only really get upset when I take an hour and extra work, which is most of the time. <laughs> yeah, I got that impression. Do you fix everything, or... Uh, just what they ask us to. We aren't really qualified to fix some of the stuff on the station. That's up to the engineering. Makes sense. Well, I'm glad you found something you like doing. Oh, thanks. Yeah, it's pretty fun. Well, I enjoyed it, at least. I read in Dr. Seno's report that you're a student on an explorer of some kind. An explorer of some kind? What did you do back home? Uh, explore schools? Oh, jeez, is that going to stick? Could be worse. It is a pretty cool title. <laughs> uh, mainly just repetitive hand homework. Do you know what homework is? Yeah. You were in higher education? Were you learning how to do something specific? Well, not exactly. I was getting an English degree, so mainly analyzing works of literature and film and such. Not really learning to become anything particular, but just critical thinking and writing skills? If that makes sense. Oh, uh, a bit. S some of that was a bit messy. So, so what do you want to do? Uh, for, for work, I mean. Uh, I haven't really decided yet. At all. <laughs> I I'm actually behind. Well, just like... How do I explain that I have no idea what I want to do professionally to an alien dog with a managerial position? I guess I don't have to tell him anything, but I see no harm in it either. I never decided when I was home. I don't really know, know now. <laughs> oh, right. Well, um... I'm sure we can find something around here for you to do. If you want it to only, to only, of course. Thanks, Rune. If nothing else, I'll have plenty to write about all this. Have you been writing? Uh, I mean, about this. About here. Being here. Huh. Um, yeah. Now let me show you. Grabbing my journal off the desk for Rune, I hazard a glance at Merrick. He seems placated, just typing away on his monitor. It seems he lost all interest in interjecting for now, so we should be safe. Here, Rune, this is what I've been using. Although, I did ask Doc for a new journal earlier, just in case. Oh, neat. Uh, can I see what you wrote? I mean, I know I can't read it, but still, I'm curious. Sure, yeah. Opening to a random page lands me in the middle of some horrid amalgamation of scribbled drawings and actually relevant notes. Hope he doesn't construe the two. Not that it matters. Sorry, it's a bit messy, but, uh, this way from... This is from... This way... Blah, this was from a day or so ago. Take me out. Water time. Just writing about what I learned so I don't forget it. And that kind of stuff. Are those your letters? They don't look too dissimilar from what we use. Yeah, I noticed some similarities. I'll just coincidence, I'm sure. But still, it's cool. Flipping through a few pages, Rune stops me a few times to point out similar shapes in our lettering. Or just a doodle he likes. I stop on a page where I wrote his name down. He seems to really enjoy that. I do realize, though, just how bad my notes are, and I wonder if I should ask for a monitor or some other way to digitize these. Getting to the end, I come across some old homework notes from classes. Something I had just forgotten. I ignored all, ignore all this time. I wonder what school they're even from. There's no date. It's fine. I remember them now. That's the important part of the way. Rune is still trying to get a look at it. I don't want to explain how bad I was at taking notes in college right now, so I close the book instead. Hey, Rune, I was curious. C can I ask where you're from? Where I'm from? L like, back home? Yeah. <sighs> oh, um, well, I, I was born on Ye Eo. Eo. Eo? It's hard to pronounce that. That's our home planet. I, I was born above the belt. Uh, the belt? Oh, right. Y you don't know, uh... So, so there's this... Do you know what an equator is? Uh, yeah. Well, not really, but a bit. So, so around the mo around most of the equator is a lot of deserts, and um, it's very hot and such. I was born above that in a city called New Sela. Sela, 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 Sela. Maybe New Sela. Okay. 
Was it still hot, or...? You've got so much fur, I'd be worried you'd burn up. Oh, <laughs> yeah. No. Well, not Nucella. It was coastal, like against the water. But I moved to the belt to pr pursue mechanic work. Oh, wow. How did you deal with the heat? Poorly. <laughs> but I got used to it. My fur keeps the sand out, which is nice. But I did have to shave a bit more than usual, and keep the air conditioner on a lot. Ha, huh, I bet. So did you go straight from the belt to working here, or...? I got a job fixing things at one of the launch sites for the ships. Uh, and, w well, th they needed more crew, so I decided to s sign up. It took a long time to get the job, though. The selection process is very selective. That's awesome, though. If I could sign up to work in space, I would as well for sure. <laughs> what? W well, you can now. We'll work in space. Oh, he's technically right, but it's not how I would have liked to get the position. I think he knows that, too. We both look around, trying to let the moment pass. <clears throat> Looking up, Merrick is leering over us. Did he get bored of our conversation? Doc messaged. He's running a bit late. He won't be back until a bit before you get out. Oh, well, that's okay. Uh, thanks. Mm-hmm. Hmm. hmm. Uh, how much longer is that, if I can ask? About four marks. Damn, still that long? Huh. Still, still short compared to how long I've waited. Alright, thanks. I half expect him to leave, but he just keeps standing there, staring at us. It's not even menacing anymore, he just looks left out. Does he want to talk about some- want to talk about something? Uh... Is there something else? No. With a bit more deliberation on his part, he eventually turns back and sits on the bench. Not quite sure what that was about, but I'm sure he's fine. Rune, on the other hand, looks a bit out of it. Say now. Water time. No, let's see. Zero, one. Zero. Okay, one second. Hmm. Okay. I decided to give him a minute, reading over the book in my lap a few times. It's nothing new, but catching up on everything I've learned so far isn't the worst idea. Rune really seems to be lost in his thoughts. I must feel bad at this point. Gently tapping on the glass, trying to only, trying to only get his attention, proves, proves futile. Shifting to the side a bit, however, I can see his eyes shoot to me, as if I scared him. Hey there, bud. You okay? Oh, sorry, I was... Um, it's okay, Rune. You don't have to explain anything. I was just reading. Did you read anything good? Considering I wrote it? <laughs> no, it's just my notes. Right. Do you need a minute, or are you okay? No, I'm better now. S -s Sorry. Uh, what were we talking about? How you got this job? But I was also curious, if you don't mind. Could you tell me more about the station itself? Oh, sure. W what do you want to know? Well, I know how many people are here, but is it crowded? Is there other stuff to do, or do you have a favorite spot? I don't know anything, really. Heh, <laughs> right, uh, okay. Well, there's plenty of room, even if you aren't an executive. The living quarters are pretty nice. The, the biggest room I've seen had four beds, which isn't too bad. You have a room to yourself, though, right? Y yeah, but it's just a normal room otherwise. I just get more storage space and time alone. Alright, I'm gonna pause it right there. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye bye!